Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. This is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all on a different topics of Microsoft Dynamics 365. Okay. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, it's a very small thing. It's a user experience thing, but uh, uh, it's an important one if you if you are use if, if from the user perspective. Okay, so this is about the item search or the pro customer search criteria which we can define in the system. So I'm going to show you by the example what I mean by uh, item criteria, so search criteria or the customer uh, search criteria. So right now, if you see, I am in a Microsoft Dynamics 365 and I'm into USMF legal entity. Now, when I, and this is my all purchase order form and I'm adding a, a product uh, line on my purchase order and I, this is my drop down. Now, what happens is that now I have uh, different products here and if I don't remember the product number and item number, I'm going to search by something some keywords, right? So maybe I just remember uh, a couple of letters in that particular name, right? So how do I search that? So one of the option, anyone will say that I can click on this column and then search that. But what if, if I just end, start entering here as a user, can I get everything what I'm typing here and which uh, where, where these letters are there? So if let's say if I just type car here, it is going to give me everything everywhere where the car keyword is there so it doesn't matter that whether the product number is starting with uh, c or m or anything wherever it is there right so it is it is trying to uh, uh, identify that particular product in this uh, search criteria okay so for example let's say here you have this radio right so if i just uh, remove and put it radio right so it is giving me all the products which has the radio keyword right but now this is in the legal entity usmf okay so do you think this is the default behavior uh does it come by default uh in the pro in the in microsoft dynamics without any configuration so let's check this out so right now uh i'm in the US ussi company okay so i have this item master and let's say i have these different products where the services keyword is there okay so when i type the services i want these all the products to be uh, reflected in my search but the moment i start typing ser right it is just giving me the product which is having this ser as a start name right so how does this work why there is a different behavior uh, in both the legal entity. Is there any configuration which we need to do to make this search work? Okay. So yes, there is a configuration. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate the uh, tab here for USSI. So now what we need to do is we need to go to uh, sales and marketing module and under sales and marketing, we have the setup and under setup, we have the search. And here we have the search criteria. Okay. Now, if I click on the search criteria here, uh, I have different search criteria of op options available. So I can do the search criteria for customer, product, and prospect. Okay. So the same thing which I'm explaining for the product, uh, it can be done for the customer as well. So let's see for the product. So this is the reason why our search is not working. So I do not have any criteria specified here, which I based on which I want to define the uh, search uh, for me okay so what i can do here is i can select different uh, products or a bit different fields let's say configuration id if i'm using the product master i can use uh, let's say the product name or the search name so item id can be my one of the criteria because i might type something which is available in my item id field right and then I can add the name alias if I'm using, I can use the product name and product itself. So let's say 
i go to product uh, name is there so i can select the product name so just a minute let me add all the fields which we can do it here so i can add all the fields based on which i want my search to work so i have added a couple of fields here now after adding the important step for us is to update the search data okay and this we need to do one by one for all the fields which we are having here now depending on your uh, uh, the transactions data and maybe your product master data what you have in your uh, in, in your legal entity right it might take some time so you can always uh, uh, put this in a batch process if you want so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to do this one by one for all these fields here and then we are going to check on the uh, purchase order whether it is going to uh, now give us by the search as search criteria by any any of the keyword if i enter there like, like how it is working in usmf so once the update search data process is done there is one more thing which we can do it here is that we have the search parameters so we can go to the search parameters and we can enable here that we want a full match or partial match so we want a partial match right and we can enable the lookup for the product search and we can save the search we can fill the automatically item search so all these things we can enable based on how many records we want to display in a uh, results right so all these things we can specify here so now i will go back i'll go to the home page i am going to uh, refresh this uh, particular uh, page before i start searching this okay just to make sure so that whatever i have uh, made the changes in the configuration it is uh, visible for me okay so now this is the item number uh, and uh, now let's start typing the services so now if you see earlier it was giving just one product which was starting with the ser now if you see i am typing uh, services so it is giving me all the list of products or the list of item numbers which are having the keyword services okay so this is how you can set up your search criteria for the product and the customer and the prospect okay this was a quick one a small video but hope this will help you in defining this and we won't think that this is the default configuration in the product okay this is something we need to configure it okay so that's it for this video hope uh, this will help you in your uh, in your project okay and we will see you uh, in the next uh, video so if you like my content then like share and subscribe my channel and talk to you in the next one thank you take care